was his name. As a boy, he always knew a sailor he would be, so he studied the law of the sea. Captain of his crew, a brave, ambitious man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sun and sky, and his heart would be his guide, a man of valor and pride. The king and queen, their blessings he obtained to carry the flag of Spain. And rain, a strong, courageous man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sails raised high, he searched the great unknown, his quest for adventure, dispelling any fear. A sure, courageous man, Columbus it was he, who sailed to new horizons across the great blue. Time for me to go, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have something for you. Huh? <laughs> Here you are. What on earth is that? Open it and you'll see. Hmm? Something's moving in there. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Good heavens. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Felipe likes you, Dad. She'll keep you company on the ship. But, Diego, wouldn't you rather keep her? No, you take her. That way I'll know that even if I can't join you on your voyage, something of me is with you. <laughs> well, I guess you'd better be going. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I have to go. I'll miss you very much. <laughs> have a safe trip, Dad. I will. I'll return soon, don't you worry. Father Perez, why are those ships so dangerously overcrowded? They are filled with Spanish Jews who have refused the royal order to convert to Christianity. They are being expelled from Spain. <laughs> A great injustice is being done to those people. And history will not soon forget it. <laughs> but, my love, just think of the reward. If Captain Columbus really does lead us to the Indies, there'll be great riches for every man in the crew. We can't afford to pass up a chance like that, now can we? Huh? Huh? Mm hmm? Father Marchena. Ah, Christopher, at last you're here. Now let us pray for the success of your voyage. Yes. O oh, Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. Look upon these, thy servants, and bless their endeavor, that the waters of the ocean hold no peril for them, nor the storms of the sky. Let them reach their destination safely, that they may bring the true faith to Asia. Amen. That's it. Keep her coming. A little more. <laughs> no! 
Look, everyone! Here they come! Juan, is the Santa Maria ready? She certainly is, Commander. She's fully provisioned. She can set sail any time you decide to give the order. Mm. Hey there, Vincente. How do things look aboard the Nina? She's ready to go, Juan. We finished loading her more than an hour ago. However, the Pinta's not ready yet. Is there some problem on your brother's ship? What's causing the delay? It's Quintero, sir. He won't let the loading proceed. That's right, I won't! Hmm? <laughs> The pent is being overloaded, and I won't stand for it! Hmm? Watch out for him, Commander. He's an old grouch. Ah, she's got to carry less in her hold. Out of the question. We need all available space to store our provisions. And if I refuse? <gasps> you want to know what'll happen if you dare to refuse? You'll be imprisoned for violating the Queen's order to do as Captain Columbus says. Oh. Quintero, uh. be a sensible fellow. Let us load the ship, or we'll throw you in jail. Understood? Captain Columbus, remember, the Pinta is my property. If anything happens to her, I'm holding you responsible. Now that we can load the ship, we'll be ready to sail before dawn. Hmm. Then we can hoist sail and catch the morning tide. It's a good, strong ebb tide. We'll ride it all the way out to open water. All hands stand ready. Take in the slack. <clears throat> right, now weigh anchor. All in the anchor, men, we're on our way. We're leaving, boys, hurry. We had been at sea for four days when the Pinta sent up a distress signal. Sir, the Pinta's in trouble. She's sending up black smoke. What could it be? Ahoy, Pinta! We saw your signal! What's the matter? Our rudders come off its gudgeon. The helm is useless. 
I'll wager Quintero did this himself. He has no stomach for the voyage. Have the men throw down a rope. I'm going to try and repair that rudder. In mid-ocean? You can't! It would be madness! But that means... Yes, I know. But Pinto will have to turn back. It's hopeless! Huh? huh? There's only one thing to do with a problem like this! Turn the Pinta around and head back to Palos! No, I'll do a temporary repair job! We can reset the rudder when we reach the Canaries. I'll say this for Captain Martin Pinzon. He's a brave and resourceful man. Indeed he is. a bad omen. On the contrary, I think it's a good one. The mountain is welcoming us to the Canary Islands. <laughs> the Santa Maria put in on the island of Gomera on August 24th. We were met by Doña Beatriz de Paratha y Babadilla, governor of the Canary Islands. Captain Columbus. Huh? Good to see you again. Good morning, your ladyship. How much longer will it be before the Pinta's rudder is fully repaired? Another day or two at the most. I have something for you. Huh? This medallion will bring you good luck. Ah, <sighs> mm -hmm. oh, I shall treasure it. Thank you, Doña Beatriz. You're welcome. Captain Columbus, I have some important news. It's news of danger on the ocean. What kind of danger? Three vessels of the Portuguese Navy have been seen cruising the waters south of here. The Portuguese Navy. That's right. I fear that they're waiting for your fleet, in the hope of putting an early end to your expedition. Thanks for the warning. Now that I know where they're waiting for me, I'll be sure to avoid them. September 6th, 1492. The Pinta's rudder is fully repaired. We've replenished our stocks of food and fresh water, and today at last, we set out upon the open ocean. The Indies await us. on the horizon. No, sir, nothing but water out there. Water and wreckage. I wonder what broke her up. Must have been a storm. A storm or else a sea monster. <laughs> well, whatever it was, it proves that these waters are dangerous. September 16th. This evening, just after dusk, a large meteor streaked over our ship and fell with a roar into the ocean. <gasps> the men are convinced that it's a bad omen. Hey, 
Hey, I see leaves. We must be getting close to land. What's that? Oh, that's seaweed, not leaves. And I don't think we're anywhere near land. I don't like the look of it. There's danger in these waters. I'm sure of it. Oh. Excuse me. We have a problem, sir. Something seriously wrong with the compass. What? The helmsman has been steering a course due west, as ordered. So it follows that north should be off the starboard beam, as the compass indicates here. If we look straight off the starboard beam, we should see the north star, right? Right. But in fact, the north star seems to have shifted in that direction, toward the west. If we can't trust the ship's compass, Commander, then we'll have lost our best navigational tool, and we may be forced to turn back. Mm. Commander, the crew members are worried. They believe evil spirits are causing these strange happenings. There's nothing to worry about. The compass is fine. It's actually the North Star that's moved slightly. Huh? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. It rotates around the true North Pole. So our compass is still working? Yes, it is, and we can still use it to steer the ship. I know some of you have been worrying. <laughs> but now that I've explained why the compass seemed wrong, you should all finally realize that there is nothing to fear. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> hmm. The men are frightened. Frightened of the ocean. Frightened of the unknown. Hmm. We've been sailing through this thick seaweed for days. When will it end? Maybe never. No one can say, because no one's been here before. The captain seems confident that we'll reach Asia. I only wish I were as sure as he is. Huh? Uh-oh. The wind has died down. We're becalmed in the seaweed. Hmm. Captain Columbus, I'm afraid the situation is becoming serious. All of the officers continue to have great faith in you. But as you know, the common sailors are getting very edgy. They fear that this voyage will end in some kind of disaster. I've even heard whispers that some of them want to disobey orders and head back to Palos. What? Yes, Captain, I'm beginning to detect a scent of mutiny in the air. I am the marshal of this fleet. If the men want to mutiny, then they'll soon get a taste of cold steel. And I'm the man to give it to them. No, Diego. Huh? I'm the captain. I'm going to talk to the men myself. Talk to them? But Christopher, don't you think... That will do. I've made my decision and I stand by it. We have to turn around and head back to Spain before our provisions start to run low. You're right, but we'll have to do something about the captain first. Men of the watch, back to your post on the double. That's an order. <laughs> What's this? You men are part of the watch, so why are you still standing here? If you have something on your minds, then I want to hear about it. Well, I'm waiting. <sighs> All right, we'll tell you what's on our minds. We want to turn back before the storms and monsters get us. Hmm, I know you're afraid of the open ocean. You don't think we'll ever make a Western landfall, but you're wrong. We will. We've come much too far to turn back now. This expedition is on the verge of great success, trust me. Trust you, huh? You're leading us all to our doom. I feel it in my bones. You're wrong. I'm leading you to the fabled Indies, to adventure, riches, and glory. This is no time to lose heart. Lose heart? Listen, Captain, I'd rather lose that than lose my own life. That's right. Now give the order to turn around or you'll regret it. I can see that you're not going to change your mind. You'd have us sail westward until we ran out of food and fresh water. Well, we won't stand for it. Turn us around, Captain. I'm giving you one last chance. Never. We're sailing on. All right, you asked for it. Christopher! Stand back. I won't have bloodshed. Captain, the Pinta! Huh? Mm -hmm. That's it, holler in. 
It looked like you were having a problem, so I came alongside. Now then, what's the trouble? No, 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 nothing. I'm glad to hear that, because if I ever see a hint of trouble, or hear a whisper of mutiny, I'll personally crush the mutineers. <laughs> and hang their carcasses from the main yard arm. Understood? <laughs> now back to your watches. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Pinzon, I want to thank you for your help. Hmm? Oh, these are men of Palo, sir. They know I'd tell their mothers. <laughs> Feel that wind. <laughs> right, men, let's trim the sails and make our way out of this soupy seaweed. Captain Pinzon averted a mutiny, but the men are still discontented. Every meal, it's the same thing. Salt pork and hard biscuit. I tell you, I'm sick and tired of it. Huh? They look plump and tasty. Come on, boys. Let's catch them. Yay! If there are birds out here, then land can't be far off. Mm. Look, men! Dolphins! <laughs> huh? What is it? Do you see land? No, it's a whale. A big one. Ooh, I'd rather a small island than a big whale. <laughs> <laughs> My lifelong dream is coming true. We're about to reach the Indies. <laughs> <laughs>